Next, having grown up between Maynooth and West Africa, Irish artist Loa has blended her influences into an Afro soul sound she calls Art Soul. While well, she's already released her first album, sold out numerous dates and toured in the UK and Ireland, and it looks like she's set for even bigger things in 2019. Your journey into music has been kind of, you know, you've had music throughout your life, but were you a pharmacist at some stage? I was a pharmacist at some stage. I'm still a registered pharmacist. Um, so, yeah, I, I always knew I loved music, um, but I didn't necessarily know that it was possible for me to do it professionally. Um, and I knew I loved the sciences, so it just made sense for me to do a, a health profession. I did pharmacy. I really enjoyed it. Um, but during my time working full time, I, I felt this really deep longing and I'm, I just missed music so much and it, I got really down and I was like I, I think I have to do this and because I'd done um, a very sensible career my parents were only just encouraging for me to, to make this change. You, you describe your music as art soul. Explain that to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I am um, I, as, as you can see my journey into music has been very meandering shall we say so I have a lot of influences I've built up over those years so I'm um, folk and um, soul music and also I'm half Irish half half Sierra Leonean so um, I grew up as an Irish person but I also have this Sierra Leonean side of me so there's West African sounds that make it into my music as well and I feel like there's no genre that fits what I make. So Noah, why are we here today? What's going on? What's launching? Today is the launch of the AIB Future Sparks Festival, which is a careers fair that's taking place on the 14th of March in the RDS. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's for secondary school students. It's going to be about 8,000 students there and lots of speakers from all walks of life, sports, tech, music, and everyone will be sharing their experience of how, they, um, how their career has developed and where they are today and what advice they can offer to teenagers. Thank you.